Okay, so bear with me. I'm not sure how the microphone is going to come out or anything like that. Um, it's going to be a lot, so just bear with me. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off from the beginning, um, setting up your flight and everything like that. That way you can set up your flight on your consumer series, consumer level, um, Mavic 3 drone. Um, this is not applied to the enterprise or commercial um, or anything like that. So what you're going to do is, I'm not sure if it's going to have the little screen taps or anything like that, so I'll just read it as, as I go along. That way you know exactly where this is going. So from the main screen here, you're going to tap connection guide. Okay. From here is going to come up to your drones that you can connect to, but you're not going to do that because your drone is going to be off at this point. Top right, you have a camera view. Go ahead and tap that. And then let that load for a second. Make sure you are connected to the internet. That way everything loads up a little faster. Okay, so bottom left, tap your map. Bring that up. Um, if it does not come up where you are, it is fine. It does not matter where you are going to set your flight up. Um, because every, all the data here is going to be overwritten regardless. So tap on the middle screen left, a little waypoint icon. And from here, you can map your pre-flight. Um, we're going to call this the pre-flight because... You don't need to do it for every, every single flight, but it helps. So I do three, four points. It does not matter which one it is. Um, here, here, and for example, here. Okay. Now tap the little paper icon on the middle bottom-ish. I go ahead and delete my old one. Okay. So now you have one or however many flights you have, but this will assume you have zero. Um, tap save. Hit save again, and then you're done here. Okay, now, once you back out here, it's going to ask you, you want to save again, hit exit without saving because you already saved it. You can actually confirm that by pressing here again and going back to your flight logs. Now, swipe from the top of your screen down and um, make sure you have an SD card in here. Um, as you can see, it says for transferring photos and media, you're going to go ahead and open that up. And it's going to take you to your file or your root file of the um, SD card itself. Now, in here, we're, we're not going to do anything... Uh, then on the top right, hit the little three dots and make sure where it says hide internal storage. Make sure you are showing your internal storage that we can actually see the storage notes on the, on the actual remote. Hit the three lines on the top left. Hit the JRC, Android, Data, um, DJI Go, Files, and Waypoint. In here, you're going to have one or two or however many folders you have. One is going to be for map preview. Okay, you can actually see the dot right there. Map preview is going to be an overall picture of your um, flight. That does not matter at this point. On the left side, you'll have a series of numbers with a file inside of it. That is your flight log or flight plan. Um, tap the little folder icon. Tap the top three dots. Hit copy to. From here, you're going to choose where that destination is going to be. So make sure it's your SD card. Anywhere in here does not matter. Um, in here, I'm going to hit copy. That's at the root of my SD card. Now, just to make sure it is in there, here it is. F A. It's the uh, F four AA. I'm actually delete this old one here, that way I don't get confused. And just because I'm paranoid, let's go back. Just make sure everything is exactly where it is. Yep, F four. So we are done here on the controller, and from here we're gonna move on to the computer. Okay. So after you transfer your flight mission or flight plan from the DJI RC. You can open up UGCS. Um, it's going to be a very similar process as to using uh, from my other video. Using the uh, DJI Flight Hub, but this time we're not going to be doing that. <clears throat> using Flight Hub, this plan you have here in front of in front of you um, was built using UGCS and as you can see every single point has a start um, and an interval and a start interval uh, with, with 16 feet, which is about the distance of each waypoint. So we're not going to be doing that. So let me go ahead and close that out. So in UGCS, um, I'm very new to the software, so just bear with me. Uh, I'm going to come up here, gonna create a route. Uh, we're going to call it, um, let's see, uh, uh, Jay's Luck. So select like your device as the Maverick. 3T, hit next, and I already have the software set to um, Imperial. So this is 4,121 feet, which I'm not going to go that high. I want to set the max height 
um, let's say 250 feet. Um, actually, bring out 200 feet because what UGCS will do is try to use up all 200 feet or whatever your max height is. So hit OK. Now you're done. Come over here to the photogrammetry tool, click it, and this is where you select your spots. That previous um, flight you saw here is, whoops, this is a little park here called Rotary Park. So from here, I'm going to do my neighborhood just for shits and giggles. So either double click or shift click. So I'm going to do shift click. And coming over here. And that's it. I'll do one more just right here. Okay. You have to double click the last waypoint. Um, it already pre built, basically, what it is. Um, it's giving you a warning uh, across the plan boundary. It's that's okay. <clears throat> so your flight speed, feet per second. I'll leave it at. Uh, bring it down to 15 feet per second. Whoops, 15 feet per second on every single turn. For example, here, 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 and here. I wanted to stop and turn. The camera angle. Leave it how it is wide. It might be blank for you guys, but if it's the, if it is, you leave it wide. Um, ground resolution GSD um, per inch. What I do is I go the max that's allowable. So I go like for example 20. It's give me, is it? It should give me a red error. There you go. And tells you the max allowable is 0 0.65. 0 0.65. Okay. I want overlap of 80 over 75. Just for a little more detail. Uh, directional angle. Just leave it as is. This is the direction of the actual path. If you're planning area or flight plan area is longer for example like this park then you'll grab this and just up and down or side to side or if you know the actual degrees you can put them right there um, execution I want it to be at every single point so as you can see this flight has 65 points down here number of waypoints 65 waypoints um, is doing six passes so one two three four five and six and it's gonna take 82 pictures close that out so again, every point, and if you don't do additional waypoints, you're just going to do the one, two, the basics. You know, it's going to cut down your your um, your pictures as well. So do additional waypoints. That way, you have more detail. Again, it's giving you the same error. It's par pro possibly a problem, but we're not going to worry about that. So overshoot. If you want overshoot, I'm not going to worry about overshoot. Altitude. I want it to be AGL. That's what I'm working with currently. And ADL tolerance of 9.8 feet. I believe this is the max allowable. I believe it is, whoops. Is it? Uh, no, so I'll just leave it at 9 point. I think it was A4, it's okay. Um, and then at the last point, I want to take a picture as well. So if it's starting here or here, it doesn't matter which one it is. I want to also take a picture. Actually, I want to flip this uh, 180. I want to flip it the other way. That way I'm not starting near the water. Uh, all right, 270. That way it starts facing to the west. Okay, from here, that's fine. I'm not gonna do double grid because it's gonna take double the pictures. If you're doing very detailed stuff for 3D and stuff like that, you can do double grid. I'm not gonna do that here. So I'll exit it out. Now, set camera by distance. Leave that as is. Okay, make sure that's how it is. That way, it automatically takes a picture at every single point because if you do distance feet. It will change your waypoints. So currently, each waypoint is 42 feet apart. So that's perfectly fine by me. What you're gonna do is here camera altitude, attitude. Sorry, tilt 90 degrees. That way, faces straight down. Again, same errors, and you are done. So what you're gonna do is click on your mission. Just make sure my elevation, my minimum is 197 feet. My maximum of it is 199 feet. So duration of three minutes, 35 seconds with 65 waypoints and 65 pictures. From here, parameters, hit export, and DJI Pilot 2, which is a KMZ file, which is what the classic Cine and the Mavic 3 use for the waypoints. Um, leave it as is. You can set a takeoff waypoint, but again, we're not gonna do it, worry about that. Go to where your uh, I'm not sure which 
Oh, give me one second. Uh, my Android is on E. Okay. On E, and then go to wherever you saved your uh, waypoint mission from the RC onto your SD card, which is mine here. This is the one I have on there. I'm going to click it. That way it takes on the same name down here. Save. Yes, override. And we are done. And we're going to go back onto the RC and continue from there. One, two, three. Okay. So we are now back on the RC, um, the main screen. And what we're going to do is going to swipe down, just like the other video, over to the SD card. From here, we're going to sit, uh, head on over to the RC itself and delete the original uh, waypoint file. Reason why we delete it is because the RC will not replace it. It will just make another one with a parentheses one. So this one on the RC, go ahead and delete that. Again, the path to get to the waypoint folder is RC, Android, data, DJI Go V5, files, and then waypoint. So from here, head on over to the, or wherever you have your, um, your flight from UGCS. In my case, <clears throat> mine is on the root of my SD card in a folder. Here it is. We're going to go ahead and tap dots, copy that over to RC and back onto the waypoint folder and dump that thing in there. Okay. Once that is done copying over, let's give it a couple seconds. We're going to go ahead and swipe all the way up. Go to connection guide, back to camera view again. Give it a couple seconds. Open up the map in full screen. It already found out where I'm at. So let me take the uh, filters off. We're going to go to the waypoint settings. Open up our list. And here you'll have our waypoints. Now it has 28 from my previous flight, which was 28 waypoints using UGCS. Um, I've already flown this flight. Everything went perfect. Um, again, still having an issue with the hover for some reason. Um, I'll look into the code a little bit and see exactly why. Um, but as long as everything else is fine, the pictures look great. Even though it's dark out here, um, the pictures look great. They don't look blurry or anything like that. So again, open that file up. Not sure if it registered my touch or not. Yep, there it is. Give it a couple of seconds. Now this one is of my entire neighborhood. As you can see, it is 65 waypoints, just like the video stated um, earlier um, on the PC portion. What we're going to do is come down to the first waypoint because UGCS does not, or I haven't found it yet, does not have the option for taking a picture on the first waypoint. From here, go to waypoint two. Again, same altitude. We're going to set the altitude of all the waypoints to 60 meters, which is about 180 feet, give or take a couple feet. Right there, or 61. See what 61 works. Hit apply all, hit yes or okay. That way it applies it to all 65 waypoints. You gotta give it a second. Um, course speed, you're gonna leave that, everything. And again, hover, as you can see here, is at zero. Leave it at zero. Um, I'll, f I'll work, look into it and see why. Now, on My apologies on the uh, <clears throat> on UGCS we left the no actions on less on last uh, point checked off. We're gonna go ahead and make sure it is on camera. Uh, sorry, take photo. So we're there. Just verify a couple of them at random. Everything like that's fine. It's gonna start on the northeast quadrant of my neighborhood, which I was hoping it was gonna start on the southeast, but it's fine. Um, and then from here triple dots here which is further options um, and then op at the uh, end of flight option have it return to home um, I'm still looking to see which one it is on the UGCS that way it just returns to home afterwards um, it shouldn't be too hard just gotta get familiar with the program uh, this one however automatically places signal loss return to home star point signal one uh, waypoint one my apologies um, I should be able to let's see if it's 65 Will it start it backwards? Possibly not. No, it won't. Whoops. I just flicked the screen. But that is that. From here, 
Oh, yeah, just go back to one. Okay, from here, what you do is load up your drone. This next uh, box here will be green. It will say go. Or if you're on this screen right now, well, when you hit next, it's going to take you to this screen. Make sure everything here is correct. And then you can have a little go button here. Um, or if you're already done there, it should be green. Uh, you just tap go, and then your drone should automatically go up. What I've done for all these flights, because I don't really trust the software, um, I take off before. That way I know it's clearing all trees and everything around my house. Because I have a huge tree right here, and then a couple of huge trees behind the house. But other than that, that is how you import a flight from UGCS, and everything is automatically done for you. Um, this is way better than the GI Flight Hub. Unfortunately, it is a paid software, so um, it is. If you're not doing it for uh, business purposes, uh, I'd say Flight Hub should be okay. But other than that, I'll keep updating whenever I find out what that hover issue is. And you guys take it easy.